This edition of the Mike Wagner Show is brought to you by Picture This Photo Books, where remembering is the key ingredient. How beautiful your mother looked at her wedding, and even more so at yours. And who doesn't miss grandma's meatballs? The holidays are coming. What better time to give a gift of remembrance that makes you laugh and cry all at the same time? Whatever gift of grandma's recipes, or just because, those smiles and tears will melt your heart. Call Karen Shaw at 646-798-0809 or visit picturethisphotobooks.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 10% off your first order. Picture This Photo Books, bringing your memories back to life. The whimsical, casual, or formal, and always uniquely you the mike wagner show is powered by sonic web studios if you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today mention the mike wagner show and get 20 percent off your project Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. It's time to give a shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international award-winning author, Mian Mosin Zia. If you love fast-paced mysteries, then you'll love Missing by Mian Mosin Zia. Available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast-paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries with two strangers and one target where truth is an illusion and those you love will be the first to go missing. It's available in paperback and ebook on Amazon. Missing by Mia Mosin Zia has garnered great reviews and is even loved by Hollywood celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Forbes Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today. Order Missing by Mia Mosin Zia. Now available at Amazon. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, YouTube, iTunes, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe. So sit back, relax, and enjoy another great episode of the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show, powered by SoundWeb Studios. Visit online at SoundWebStudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. SoundWeb Studios is the answer. SoundWeb Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at SoundWebStudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international warring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is an illusion and those you love be the first to go missing. It's available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has garnered great reviews and evil love and enjoyed by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Forge Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today for Goes Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, the Mike Wagner Show is brought to you by our brand new sponsor, Pictureless Photo Books. And while remembering is the key ingredient, how beautiful your mother looked at her wedding and even more so at yours. And who doesn't miss grandma's meatballs? I mean, I love grandma's meatballs. The holidays are coming. And what better time to give a gift for remembrance that makes you laugh, cry at the same time, wherever a gift of grandma's recipes or just because those smiles and tears will melt your heart. Call Karen Shaw at Picture List Photo Books at 646-798-0809. That's 646-798-0809. Or visit picturethisphotobooks.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show and get 10% off your first order. Picture this photo books. Bring your memories back to life. The whimsical, casual, or formal, and always uniquely you. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the MikeWidenerShow.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Widener Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, and Apple. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram and Twitter today and for some great gift ideas year-round, 24-7, not just Christmas time, but year-round. Go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show t-shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, 
throw pillows, tote bags, and more. Great gifts for family. And also, more great gift ideas. You can go to Amazon.com and check out the Me and Molson ZS store for great books like Missing, Once, Wrinkles, and T-shirts, hoodies, and also tank tops and more. Make sure you check those out. Also, uh, donate to the Mike Widener Show at the themikewidenershow.com. Also on Anchor FM slash support and PayPal. Make sure you do so today. He's backed by popular demand. He's an actor, model, a voiceover talent, and uh, he served 23 years in the armed forces and deployed to Iraq and Afghanistan. And he's a life flight helicopter pilot, retired army helicopter pilot and veteran. And he's also uh, appeared uh, last we talked in uh, Deliver Us From Evil, the Warriors video game, Law and Order. He's also worked with uh, Eric Bana, Olivia Munn and more. And he's also uh, done a few more uh, films as well, two in projects. And he's got some exciting news to tell and live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plus Studios somewhere in the Buckeye State. He's back, the very multi-talented and very popular Steve Ham. Steve, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. <laughs> Thanks for joining us once again. Good evening, Mike. Thanks for having me on. Gee, you kind of fluffed me up there a little bit too much, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, well nowadays, I mean, we talked about this uh, before we went on. So it's like, you know, everybody needs a little uh, boost in the business. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I guess a little ego boost every once in a while isn't too bad. I try to stay as humble as I can, though, to be honest with you. But no, I appreciate that. Thanks. <laughs> Well, it's great. Well, it's great to have you back as well, too. You've been amazing. And uh, you're not just an actor, you're a voiceover talent. You're also a model, a life flight uh, helicopter pilot. And also uh, you served 23 years in the armed forces and deployed to Iraq and Afghanistan. Life flight helicopter pilot, which is amazing. You also told us about the story. You're a retired uh, army helicopter pilot, a veteran. And you also appeared in uh, Deliver Us From Evil, The Warriors, Law and & Order. And you also had um, a few projects that you also got involved in. You got some uh, recent projects that you got uh, in the works. And before getting to all that, Quickly, tell us how I first got started, Steve. Well, uh, <laughs> the acting business, yeah. So um, basically, uh, about six months before I officially retired, I uh, and I got this idea to uh, <clears throat> try acting out. I'm not sure where it came from, just kind of a wild idea. And uh, to make the long story short, basically, I found a, a weekend workshop when I was still in Tennessee, um, down over in Nashville, and. Uh, it's run by a guy named Alan Dicer. He used to be a full contract player with the, all my children back in the day. Mm. But I did the weekend workshop with him and we did uh, basically two days worth of uh, cold reads, which, you know, if, uh, for those that don't know that, you know, you're given a, a script right there in your hand and you basically act it out without having rehearsed it. So um, after being on stage for two days of doing that with the scene partner, um, I just found it exhilarating and liberating to, to be able to do that. And these were, you know, scenes for movies everyone has seen and known. It was just really a cool feeling. And I said, well, this is something I, I think I want to pursue. So once I officially got out of the service and then moved up to Ohio, um, got myself settled, and then uh, I decided to uh, pursue a little more. And then there was a open uh, casting call for uh, at a uh, one of the agencies in Cleveland, mm. uh, Pro Model Talent. And uh, so I attended that and uh, based on, you know, like uh, uh, a interview they give you and, and your personality and, and a bunch of other uh, things that they look at, um, they said uh, they'd uh, like to re uh, represent me, uh, you know, take some time to consider it. And I did. And uh, the rest is history. So I signed with them. Um, so and one of the things I think is hardest for an actor to do is, is to, to get agency representation, um, especially when, when you're when you're brand new. So luckily for me, they, they do offer, you know, in-house uh, training and stuff. So. Um, you know, learning the, the basics, you know, on, on, you know, acting skills, acting from the camera and just everything you need to know just to be, you know, eventually be a professional if you want to stay in the business. So um, that's how it all started. Uh, that was back in 2013 and I've been doing it ever since. And, uh, you know, this is one of those those jobs where, like we discussed earlier, you know, it, it's a daily grind. Um, <laughs> you have to go out and look for the work initially and, uh, you know, whatever you can get and, you know, background extra is usually where you start out at, you know, just so you can learn to be on a set, you know, and the ins and outs of that. Um, and then, you know, uh, being a featured extra and, and all those kind of things. So it just got to work yourself up, you know, learn the ropes and uh, network. That's another big, big, huge thing. And luckily, you know, these days, social media is, is at our is at our fingertips. So, you know, between Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, which are my three main uh, platforms, uh, I use those to, you know, to, to network and, and to start, you know, building relationships and meet people. So, um, but yeah, that's how it all started. And uh, I, I, I haven't quit and I've had some, you know, decent success, especially up here in Ohio, which is more of a regional area to work in. Um, the big stuff is obviously in LA and New York. So um, it's, 
you either move there and you have more opportunities there, or, you know, you look for opportunities from here and uh, hopefully based on work, you know, availability and flexibility, you try to make that work, which is a little bit harder sometimes, but, you know, it depends how much work you put into it and you get what, what you, what you get what you put into it. So um, you just got to keep that positive mindset going every day, no matter what. And it's, it's tough. It, you know, some days are just tougher than others to have to deal with that. So, but yeah, that's the, uh, that's the background. Mm -hmm. And also, too, we talked earlier as well, too, that there's people out there are expecting instant success. And, um, you know, for some, that's good, but also that um, you may be successful quickly, but then 10 years from now, people won't remember you. And why is it so important that you start building your way up and people can remember you in 10 years? I mean, I remember. I rubby remembered what happened to me 10 years ago than, than what happened, um, you know, 10 years then just fell off the face of the earth. Yeah. Um, you, you see it on TV a lot too. You know, we have these uh, young, uh, young stars that, that have like these breakout roles, especially when they're kids and stuff like that. And uh, it's just, it's just tough. Um, the thing that works for me is that my, uh, my competition pool is a lot smaller. I mean, I just turned 50 and uh, you know, so I'm only working against people, you know, within my age bracket, but the thing, the thing is too, is to know what your, your brand is, you know, what roles you can, you know, realistically uh, uh, fill, you know, and for me, that's, you know, either military roles, uh, like cop detective roles, um, you know, dad, husband, father, stuff like that. So I know what pr what's pretty much primarily in my wheelhouse, although I'm willing to obviously, you know, expand from that. But yeah, if you have instant success, I think it can kind of go to your head and then you almost always expect to get booked for something or you expect certain levels of, of something of some kind of success. But I think after a while, it, it will start going away unless you keep training and you have a good agent that, that can, you know, uh, work with you and, and say, hey, look, OK, now that you're grown up, there's you know different roles you should fill. Or even if you're older and you have instant success, you still it shouldn't just only go to your head. You know, it's a uh, it's it's a marathon in this business. So you just got to keep pace and, and just work with it. And, you know, as long as you can deal with rejection, that's 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 another uh, huge piece of it too. And, uh, just don't, you know, take it personally and just, uh, you know, move on because even these A-list actors, I mean, they don't always book all the roles that, they, that, that they audition for. And there's some that still, you know, have to audition for some roles. Others, the roles are written for them, which is great, but sometimes they still have to audition. And, you know, I've, I've seen many YouTube videos like with, uh, Leo DiCaprio and a bunch of these other guys where, you know, him and another actor go in for the same role and they pick Leo over, over him for some reason. He's like, God, Leo's always getting these roles. What's the deal? You know, I, I, I heard those stories. Yes. Distressing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it can be very competitive at that level, you know, and uh, it's just, I think you just have to really love the, the, the art and, you know, passion and craft of acting. If you can stick with that, then everything else should be fine. But if you're more worried about or concerned about or want the fame and celebrity status, then it's, it's not for you. And you can see, watch any YouTube video with any you know, A-list celebrity and they'll tell you the same thing. Um, whether it's uh, um, Denzel Washington, you know, or Don Cheadle or any of these guys, they'll tell you, you know, yeah, don't worry about the, the money and the celebrity status and the fame. You got to love the acting part of it. You got to love the craft. And if you do really well at that, then, you know, then the rest will hopefully fall into place. And there's also been some actors and actresses as well, too, that don't get the big roles, but are very content with just taking on small roles and they make a career out of it. You know, tiny roles sure. here, there and everything. And they've been doing it for 50 years and they make their millions just like um, the other stars, too. Yeah, I mean, every film needs to have a, your lead actor or actress or both, but then you have your supporting roles. And have, like you said, those are just as important. And, you know, it, as long as you, you're getting booked for something, you know, you take the role that, that the best suits you. Um, Many times I put in for something just, uh, you know, uh, just kind of a segue into this where I just you know, booked a role in this movie uh, or you know, feature called the L.A. Crime Story. And uh, the role that I initially applied for, the uh, director and the assistant producer were thinking, well, OK, but what about would you accept this role instead? And I read it, looked into it. I'm like, sure, why not? You know, and then, uh, you know, when I sent my my tape in. Um, I worked with a coach, you know, to help me out, which is a, definitely a good thing to have for an audition, you know, because they can weed out all your little uh, issues that, that you, you may be running into. And, uh, you know, I, I'm not sure how many people I went up against, but uh, I sent my stuff in on a Tuesday and they said they'd let me know on Friday. And sure enough, Friday afternoon, you know, I'm looking through emails and uh, I see the, uh, the email saying that, hey, you know, congrats, you know, you, you just booked this role. And I was like totally shocked because I, you know, you just have to, once you put the audition in, 
forget it and just move on. You know, I mean, obviously make a note about it somewhere that you put it in, but uh, yeah, don't dwell on it because mm. it'll drive you nuts. I mean, every, every beginning actor has done that and he probably, you know, will still do that, but uh, yeah, just do it and forget about it and just move on and then mm -hmm. be surprised when you actually do get it. So I think that's very important for people to remember as well, too. What are some other uh, do's and don'ts that you can offer? Uh, as well, as far as what the audition process, um, it, uh, there was a video by Brian Cranston. He was interviewed, uh, you know, uh, several years ago in, in this, uh, library type setting. And he basically said, like I mentioned, you know, uh, especially if it's an in-person audition, you know, that, cause that's where you can make the biggest impact. You only get one shot at that. So, mm -hmm. you know, obviously be prepared, know your lines, make a, a bold decision on, on your character that you think, you know, they might be looking for and, uh, walk in there, you know show confidence, feel confidence, because if you don't, they, they can sense that, but mm, just feel confident. Yes, I read about that. Yeah. Confidence is a big thing. Once you, you can internally feel that, then it shows. So um, just walk in there, you know, uh, introduce yourself, follow whatever guidance or advice, whatever that they, any questions that they, you know, ask any questions if you have, you know, if they allow you to uh, do your uh, audition the best you can. And uh, when they say, okay, that's it. Now, unless they give you redirection on something, then, you know, you read, you, Take a few seconds, think about what they said, do your audition again if they want. And then once everything is said and done, you walk out and you just forget about it. And he said that once he started doing that, he started booking roles like crazy because he didn't feel upon the weight on his shoulders that I have to book this thing in order to, to live or in order to make my rent or do this, whatever else. So mm -hmm. um, and, you know, for those that, you know, are kind of relying on an acting income, which you shouldn't at first, obviously. But to those that do, you know, that's a huge pressure you put on yourself and that I think really can affect your performance. So mm -hmm. you just focus on, on the character, do your, just do the best you can walk out and just hope for the best. And even if you don't get that role, you might get a different role or you might even book anything there, but at least those casting directors will see you and know your work, maybe give you some tips on, on how you can prove some stuff. Um, and then, you know, they'll just get to know you. And, you know, some of these friends I have on Facebook, you know, they, they've seen the same casting director seven or eight times and haven't booked anything, but they keep you in the back of their mind. If you do, if you do really good work and, you know, and you're a decent person that all casting directors talk to each other. So if they might know a project that someone else is casting for, they might think you're good for that and they recommend you over there. So mm. it just, it's all about networking, you know, and how you present yourself. So it's, <laughs> it's, it's a crazy business. I'll tell you, you know, <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you one thing. You actually appeared in some films as well, too, with your persistence. We'll talk about those in just a minute. But first, listen to the Mike Widener Show at the themikewidenershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. It's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give an official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, international warring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is an illusion and those you love be the first to go missing. It's available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has garnered great reviews. An evil oven endorsed by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Forge Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today for Goes Missing by Me and Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, the Mike Widener Show is brought to you by our brand new sponsor, Picture This Photo Books, where remembering is the key ingredient. How beautiful your mother looked at a wedding and even more so at yours. And who doesn't miss grandma's meatballs? The holidays are coming. And what better time to give a gift for a remembrance that makes you laugh and cry at the same time? Whatever gift that grandma's recipes or just because those smiles and tears will melt your heart. Call Karen Shaw at Picture This Photo Books at 646-798-0809. That's 646-798-0809. Or visit PictureThisPhotoBooks.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show and get 10% off your first order. Picture This Photo Books. Bring your memories back to life. They're whimsical, casual, 
or foam roll and always uniquely you. And don't forget to take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. Also check out the Mike Wagner Show over 30 podcast platforms. And don't forget to um, check out the Mike Wagner Show merchandise at themikewagnershow.com and also on Amazon with t-shirts, pop sockets, throw pillows, hoodies, and more, as well as tote bags for the ladies. And don't forget to check out the Me and Mosin Zia store on Amazon with great books and merchandise. And also make sure you donate to the themikewagnershow.com as well as Anchor FM and PayPal. Make sure you give generously today we're here with actor model steve ham uh you know being back on the mike wagner show and uh steve has um just had an amazing story to tell and um he's also had uh grown in, with a number of roles as well too being persistent with auditions and he also appeared in deliver us from evil the warriors law and order and also some recent ones that came up like taking over mind hunter and uh buzzing in the garage and crisis in the valley and uh tell us about some of the um the projects you got involved in um, yeah, so unfortunately, a small correction on some of those, um, the, uh, the law and order thing I, I was never a part of, so I want to just put that out there so I don't get in trouble for being, uh, uh, misrepresented there. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad you said that that was, uh, mentioned somehow in there, but I crossed it off yeah. just for your purpose. No, so. no, that's fine. Yeah. No, the thing is, is that, um, there were so many, uh, Steve hams listed on IMDb that I had to change it to Stephen P ham, mm -hmm. um, just to, uh, get myself a little more uh, isolated from all that because there are other uh, actors with the same name, which I didn't think there were that many of like that. So, oh, wow. yeah, so I had to change it. So I'm still working on, on getting some of that still, uh, corrected right now, but, uh, yeah, I don't want to misrepresent myself in some of the projects I've been in, but you know, all those other ones you mentioned though, uh, were uh, mostly independent projects. Um, the mine hunter one was, was kind was interesting where, uh, I saw a, uh, casting call for that for, uh, background actors, of course, for like, uh, FBI agents back in the seventies. Cause that's, I believe that's when the show was being filmed. So, um, I applied for that and, uh, that was actually being shot in, in Pennsylvania, which was kind of cool. So, mm. um, and a little trivia about that with me is that actually when I applied for that a couple of days later, um, my agency got a call from, a producer or someone from, from the show saying that they actually wanted me to read for one of the main characters. And uh, unfortunately the day they wanted me to read, I wasn't available. So I had, I had to miss out on that, but Ooh. I did have a chance to be in one of the, the lead uh, roles in that, which would have been kind of cool. But um, no, I went there for uh, to be background. And I tell you, you know, to be on, on a set that is bigger budget, you know, and, and with all these professional people around, it, it's really incredible experience. So uh, spent half a day in Pennsylvania filming that and, uh, the scene that I was I was being filmed in, you can see on season one, episode ten, near the end of the uh, the whole episode. So I'm kind of in the background behind the, the main actor that's there. So that's my little claim to fame for Mind Hunter. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, the rest of them were were fun. Um, the Crisis in the Valley was the independent feature where I got my first speaking role in, which was kind of cool because every actor wants to have those lines to read to someone else. You know, that's like the epitome of being an actor other than, you know, the lead role or something like that. So that was all, all fun. So yeah, there's a uh, uh, independence are a lot easier to, I think, uh, get into than, than obviously the, the bigger uh, projects. Um, but uh, they're, they're all fun though, you know, so, uh, but I think every actor needs to cut their teeth on independent projects just so, you know, they can get experience and, and, and have fun. Mm -hmm. and, and of course you also have some big news as well too, that you, um, you, you, you just did a recent audiobook narration, which is amazing. Looking forward to it. Also new radio drama, dead exit and, um, about, uh, LA crime story and, uh, maybe a bit more about LA crime story. And, um, also talk about your, uh, recent audiobook narration and, uh, new radio drama, which, um, I, I think ra radio drama is pretty much like making a comeback. Yeah, it does sound like that. I was kind of surprised. Um, yeah, the audiobook thing, uh, that was kind of another uh, wild thought I had. Um, so I looked into that and uh, did some research and, you know, bought some some like, professional recording equipment and uh, went to uh, – actually, my first book that I did was with a, a friend I met on Twitter, uh, Ann Wilmer Lasky. She's an author that lives out in Arizona, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. And uh, she uh, has this uh, book called uh, – the uh, seasons of Sam rock. And she uh, sent me a, a, you know, emailed me a copy of it. So I read through it and I was just hooked on it. I mean, you know, you're talking about a, a private investigator back in night in Hollywood, 1940s or fifties. I can't remember exactly which, but uh, he gets hired by uh, a young lady to help find her brother. 
And so while he's looking for the brother, he's, you know, in the Hollywood underground trying to scout stuff out. And he just comes across a bunch of different, different things. But the way it's written, it just makes you feel like you're back in, in that time period. And uh, I mean, it's, it's, it can be, it can be thrilling, you know, and I think the hardest part about being doing audiobook narration is that, you know, you, you're trying to tell the story that, you know, is thrilling to people and uh, it, you're kind of like on the sidelines with it, you know, kind of just being a, the referee for everything. But, you know, it's more than just reading the book. You have to kind of like get in a little character a little bit and, you know, and just entice people. And the, the reading can be a little difficult, but the editing afterward is that was a huge learning curve for me, learning how to, to use, you know, the editing software. But uh, it took me a little longer than I expected, but I did get it done. And now uh, I did sign on with her to do another one of her books called uh, uh, Dead, uh, Dead Oak, I believe. Um, no, Black Oak. I'm sorry. It's called Black Oak. Black Oak, yes. Yeah. And that's a, uh, a Western supernatural thriller, actually. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I'm halfway through that, finishing that, trying to get that recorded and stuff. But, um, you know, once you learn how to do it properly, you want to make sure you put your best foot forward and do it right. So it takes a little bit of time. It's not my full time gig, so it takes me longer than probably most people. But yeah, so there's that. I'm looking forward to that. And like I said, the audio drama, um, Dead Exit, that uh, that's something that uh, I, I wasn't looking for. It just kind of fell in my lap. And uh, the uh, producer, director called me about it. And we spoke for at length for a little while. And I said, yeah, sure, you know, send me the script. So I read through it and um, you know, recorded my lines and just sent them to them. And uh, they're going to put it all together. And I think at some point they really want to make it into a, an actual uh, feature m movie as well. So, oh, wow. We'll see. I mean, we'll see how that works out. You know, I'm not going to hold my breath. Fingers are crossed, obviously. But, uh, you know, we'll see. But, yeah, it's no, it's fun doing the audio stuff. And mm -hmm. then the uh, L.A. crime story. Yeah, that's the one, another one where, uh, you know, I was looking online for uh, for stuff and uh, I read the the script, the concept behind it. You know, and this is about a uh, an L.A. socialite whose son was was killed or died. And uh, um, this investigation uh, company looks into it to see if it was, you know, uh, homicide or you know suicide. And uh, I won't give any of it away, of course, but um, right. I had a, I forget which role. I, I think I originally applied for like the lead detective role. And then they said, well, we think you're better suited for the private investigator role. And I was like, okay. So they sent me the script or the sides. I read through it, um, went with my acting coach and, you know, we uh, went over a few things. And uh, once I, I felt that the, uh, what I recorded was fine, I sent it in. And, uh, you know, within uh, four days, I, I heard back saying, yeah, we like it. You know, we'd like to offer you the role. And I was like, okay. So we're still waiting on, on filming that. Um, there's a few things that are that are kind of a little bit hiccuped on, but it's all right. I mean, it's the nature of the movie business. There's a, nothing's ever usually streamlined too well, especially with the ind independent stuff. So, but I, I am uh, grateful to uh, to have that as well. Um, so yeah, there's a lot, there's a few things in the pipeline, and uh, but you know, with this business, it's just. Uh, <laughs> Like I said, it's a daily grind, and, and you you're always grateful for what you can get, and uh, just got to put out quality work, you know. So yeah, mm -hmm. and that's very good advice as well too. What's coming up for uh, Steve Hammer for 2021 beyond? We'll find out in just a minute. You listen to the Mike Widener Show at the MikeWidenerShow.com, powered by Soundweb Studios. Visit online at SoundWebStudios.com for all your needs. Also brought to you by our official sponsor, the Mike Widener Show, international warring author Mia Molson Zia of Missing, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Also brought to you by our brand new sponsor, the Mike Widener Show. Picture this photo books where remembering is a key ingredient. Call Karen Shaw at 646 798 0809 or visit PictureThisPhotobooks.com. And we'll be back with actor, model, voiceover talent, the multi talented Steve Ham after this time. Out. This edition of the Mike Wagner Show is brought to you by Picture This Photo Books, where remembering is the key ingredient. How beautiful your mother looked at her wedding, and even more so at yours. And who doesn't miss grandma's meatballs? The holidays are coming. What better time to give a gift of remembrance that makes you laugh and cry all at the same time? Whatever gift of grandma's recipes, or just because, those smiles and tears will melt your heart. Call Karen Shaw at 646-798-0809 or visit PictureThisPhotoBooks.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 10% off your first order. Picture This Photo Books, bringing your memories back to life. They're whimsical, casual, or formal, and always uniquely you. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host. And I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well-written, it's amazing. 
you know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter, and it's very well done. I'm going to highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia. He is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing, available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Hey, hey, this is Ray Powers. And if there's one thing you can count on in these unpredictable times, it's that you're in good hands getting some great radio, courtesy of The Mike Wagner Show. We're back with actor, model, voiceover, talent, multi-talented Steve Hamm here on The Mike Wagner Show. And Steve... I mean, it's great to have you back. You've had an amazing career so far, and we're looking forward to, um, you, you know, seeing you more in the future. And what can you expect from me in 2021 and beyond, Steve? Well, in addition to the uh, some of the audio projects and the uh, movie feature coming up, um, there was also another booking for another project called uh, The World Mission. Um, the uh, writer-director didn't want any kind of uh, overall publicity put out through my, my PR firm or PR company just yet. But, uh, yeah, I play uh, Johnny McCants, and he's the uh, director of the Central Intelligence Agency. But mm-hmm. um, it's a uh, it's an overseas project, so um, there's going to be some interesting – it's kind of an action-slash-comedy type deal. So mm-hmm. um, she, it's still in, in development, so to speak. There is a script for it, which is a good thing, but um, – She's trying to get, you know, the cast together as best she can, but um, she's really uh, excited about it, which she should be, but uh, we'll see how that goes. But supposedly I'll be in uh, uh, Thailand filming that one sometime next year, but we'll see how COVID plays out with that too. So. Oh, wow. Thailand. Unbelievable. Yeah. I love the visit there. Now, is this the first country that you have visited? Um, you know, when, when it, when it comes to acting, you had to go there for acting Thailand. Yeah, this would be the first overseas project that I'd, I'd ever have to go to. So, uh, uh, you know, it's, I know it's, it's a gorgeous place, you know, uh, I've seen, you know, lots of pictures. I've never been there myself personally yet. Um, you know, Southwest Asia, you know, Iraq, Iran, Iraq, or Iraq and Afghanistan, excuse me, the farthest I've been in that area. So, but it'd be interesting to shoot a, a film project in, in that area. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm excited for it. So uh, I may not sound like it, but I am, trust me. It, uh, <laughs> I try to, I'm, I'm pretty much a low key kind of guy. I mean, it's just, just the way I am. So, um, mm-hmm. Well, I'll tell yeah, you. No, one, it's, I'll tell you one thing. Your, your wife and I are pretty. Your, your, you and your wife are pretty much like my wife and uh, you are pretty much the same thing too. So, <laughs> like everything balances out. So. Yeah, I'm more level-headed, even, and uh, she uh, she likes things done like yesterday. Her her patience is you know almost zero. So, it's it's it kind of does work out because I'm like okay, you know whatever you want, and but I, I can appreciate you know. Um, you know, how she wants things. And in a way I'm kind of, I'm kind of the same way. Uh, you know, if things don't get done quickly, then, you know, I start getting a little bit frustrated as well, you know, but yeah, then it's like kind of, you know, what can I do to help affect the, um, the outcome or situation to make it, make it, you know, more efficient, happen faster. So. Mm-hmm. And I think that's very good advice as well too. And uh, speaking of advice, what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point in, in anything, not just acting, but anything. Oh God. Gee, that's um. Just, uh, you know, live life, have fun. Um, don't sweat the small stuff. I guess that's probably the biggest thing I can think of, you know, um, life's too short to, to be miserable and unhappy. You know, if you're unhappy with your current situation, do something to change it. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. I mean, I wake every morning, you know, and try to, you know, if I'm not already positive, I just get myself to a positive mindset and, and just go, go with the day, you know, and I mean, life's going to throw its, its stuff at you. You just got to kind of take it as it comes and, and work through it, you know, but uh, I mean, with acting or with anything, you know, just, just keep a positive mindset, determination, perseverance, do your best. And, uh, you know, hopefully the rest just falls into place. So, and just be a, be a nice person, really. I mean, as naive as that may sound, but 
true. That that's something that that goes a long, long way. You know, people will remember that. You know, mm-hmm. so hopefully, whatever interaction I can have with someone, it's a good one, and they can take that away from there. You know, because I definitely want to, you know, want to be someone that people would want to work with. You know, say, oh yeah, you know, here's a professional. He he'll do his job. You know, and and I'm not going to talk behind someone's back. You know, and cut him down, whatever else. It's it's not a competition as far as I'm concerned. You know. It, Right. There's other actors on Facebook and they're booking roles, you know, then you congratulate them for them. I mean, because they congratulate you if you book something. So it's only fair. Mm-hmm. And of course, I see your pulse a lot as well, too. And uh, congratulations on all you do. I mean, you've just been amazing. I say that very amazing. Uh, uh, <laughs> I appreciate the compliment. Uh, yeah, it's everyone has their their own, uh, you know, achievements that that they can can claim. So uh, and, the, you know, especially with acting, there is no direct path to to success and everyone's. Uh, level of success or, or thought of success is different. You know, I mean, some people think, you know, booking multiple projects is successful, which is great. Um, but, you know, you know, just to, you know, get your foot in the door for an audition, you know, is, is a huge success. And I think booking the role was probably just the icing on the cake, you know, mm-hmm. <clears throat> so. And I, and I think that's very important as well, too. Once again, we're with uh, actor, model, voiceover talent, the multi-talented Steve Ham here on the Mike Wagner Show. Steve, a very big thank you for your time. It's great to have you on again. Looking forward to you on again soon. You're always amazing. And once again, tell us about uh, your upcoming projects. What's your website? How do people contact you? Where can people uh, check out your works? Well, uh, the biggest upcoming project right now will be the L.A. Crime Story. Uh, it's supposed to start filming here pretty soon, hopefully. Um, the website is uh, www.steveham with two m's.org. Uh, takes you to all my social media platforms as well, but I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So uh, if you see me on there, hit me up for a connection. And uh, you know, if you have any questions or advice about something or whatever, I'll be more than happy to uh, help people out in that aspect too. Not just with acting, but with anything. Uh, I feel that you know, mentorship is 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 a big thing, and you know, we should all have some kind of mentors to to look up to in life. You know, and I have my own for sure. So whatever knowledge or wisdom I can impart for someone, you know, to help them out, I'll do my best. So mm-hmm. that's it. And that's very important as well, too. Once again, Steve, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic as always. Looking forward to having you again soon. Do us a favor. Keep us up to date. Love you back on 2021 and beyond. And don't forget to keep in touch. And um, best of luck in all you do. And um, just stay focused and uh, just keep rising. I will do that. And congrats on all your success as well, sir. Picture this photo books, where remembering is the key ingredient. Preserving memories, keeping the memories of your loved ones alive as they reach in and touch your heart. How beautiful your mother looked at her wedding, and even more so at yours. The holidays are coming. What better time to give a gift of remembrance that makes you laugh and cry all at the same time. Whether it's a gift of past holidays, grandma's recipes, long ago moments, or just because, those smiles and tears will melt your heart. Call Karen Shaw at 646-798-0809. Once again, that's 646-798-0809. Or visit picturethisphotobooks.com. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host. And I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written, it's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter and it's very well done. I'm gonna highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia, he is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing. Available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers 
designers who are well-focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress, and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds, whether big, small, established, or startup, impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites. We give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Thanks for listening to The Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show.